The sequel to the highly successful Avengers movie hits local theaters next week. And I heard it's impossible to book good seats now already. Uh, will it live up to the hype is the big question, not just in terms of entertainment value, but the benefits it could bring to Korea. That's right. And some scenes were shot in and around Seoul, prompting government officials to speculate it could boost tourism to the country. Our Kim ji reports. Captain America dodges cars near the Hangang River, while Scarlett Johansson speeds through the busy streets of Seoul. These are scenes from Avengers, Age of Ultron, the sequel to the hit superhero film opening in Korea next Thursday. The movie is expected to be a great success here as the first Avengers movie attracted 7 million local viewers back in 2012. I really like the fact that some of the scenes are from Korea. I can't wait to see the next Avengers movie. The movie is not only expected to lift ticket sales at box offices, the government believes it will also boost the number of foreign tourists. The Korean Film Council estimates 620,000 tourists will visit the country because of the movie, generating a projected 80.4 million U.S. dollars for the local economy. Korea doesn't have as many tourist attractions as China, but I hope the movie will bring a lot of foreign tourists to Korea. However, one local expert warns that the hype surrounding the benefits to Korea may be too much. The scenes don't exactly show Korea in its best light, what with buildings crashing down and the Avengers team taking a blow. The scene where Scarlett Johansson speeds her soul is not real, and the scene was put together later. That's why I'm beginning to question whether the movie will boost tourism to locations in the film. Only time will tell if the Avengers sequel will bring tours to the country. But one thing's for sure, local fans can't seem to wait. The Korean Film Council says 220,000 tickets have already been sold, an uncommonly high number just a week before the Korea premiere. Kim Jong, Arirang News.